How you doing? This is George Senda, the guy from Pittsburgh, and the picture I'm going to post with this video is a little different. It's not the NFL at all. It's Army carrying the flag of France in the game today, and the whole world is standing in solidarity. Uh, Hillary Clinton said we have to fight these people, and Donald Trump said if more people have been armed, less people have been shot. I think he's absolutely right. So anyway, with that in mind, I'll have more news on terrorism than in the next video, but here are my NFL picks, and you'll have to bear with me. I got them on two sets of notes, but uh, okay, here we go. Uh, bear, bear with me because I did these on the back of envelopes at Starbucks, so I got to uh, find which one matches which one here. Okay, we'll take Green Bay at Detroit. Detroit the spreads minus 10 and a half, 49, and minus 650. Plus 475. That's the money odds. So, um, Green Bay has not lost at Lambeau Field since 1991, so you got to pick the packs. Tampa and Dallas, minus one. Of course, you get the problem here. Um, Dallas is 0 and 6 without Romo. And um, the Bucks, though, last week missed six passes. They dropped the ball. And the spread on that, 43.5 total, minus 120, plus 100. Well, I'm going to pick the Bucks. Um, Carolina at Tennessee, minus 4. 44 total, minus 210, plus 180. And I will pick uh, the Panthers. And let me see if I have any notes on the Panthers or not. Uh, did something on the Panthers here. Yeah. I know it wasn't the Panthers. I got to write better than this. Um, okay. Let's see. Uh, Washington is a pick. Both teams have been terrible. D.C. had no offense last week. The Saints allowed 83 points and 860 yards in the Last two games, the Redskins secondary is banged up. Total is 50, and the minus 110, minus 110. Um, I'm going to pick the Saints. Philadelphia and Miami. Where did I find it? Where did I put Philadelphia? Hmm. Where did they go? Oh, there we go. Dolphins and Eagles. Okay. <laughs> Forgot what I wrote down. Sometimes I write Philadelphia. Sometimes I write the Eagles. Um, minus 6, 49.5, 250, minus plus one, 210. I'll pick the Eagles. Uh, Pittsburgh and Cleveland. Minus 6. Cleveland is the underdog. 41.5, minus 260, plus 220. Well... Even without Roethlisberger, um, I think Pittsburgh will win. And uh, what did I say about the Steelers here? Nope, they're just minus six Cleveland. I'll, I think the Steelers are going to win. The, the new quarterback, the young quarterback. Okay, Baltimore at Jacksonville. Um... The one team is 28th in defense, so I picked the Jags. I picked uh, the Jaguars. And they are minus 4.5 underdogs, 47.5, minus 215, plus 185. Oakland and Minnesota. Um, Raiders not good against the Steelers. Their defense was terrible, and so I will pick the Vikings. And they are minus, Minnesota is a minus three underdog. I would take those three with 44 minus 155 plus 135. Uh, Denver and Kansas City. 
Chiefs and the Broncos. Broncos de defense faltered last week and no ground games. So you got to pick, but I'm going to pick the Chiefs. No ground game for one of the teams. And that's four and a half, minus four and a half, 41 and a half, minus 225, one, my, uh, plus 185. The New England Cheaters and the New York Giants. Spread is minus seven. Giants are the underdog, 54.5, minus 350, plus 290. Well, I, um, let's see, where did I put that? I picked the Pats. It's just far superior, but it's kind of sad. Uh, Seattle and Arizona, minus three. Arizona's the underdog. 44 and a half, minus 155, plus 135. And Jerry and Joe won't like me, but I am picking the Cardinals. Seattle offense is weak and inconsistent last week, and uh, they have to, uh, I got to do something, and I don't think they're going to do it. And Monday night, Cincinnati and Houston, minus 11. That's a hell of a lot of points. 47.5, minus 650, plus 475. And I am picking, if I can find it, I am picking Houston. And uh, I don't think I wrote Thursday night's game, so I'll have to do that Thursday night. Uh, next time I'm going to sit down with my paper and write them down one at a time and I have two different sets of notes here which is driving me crazy um, alright have a good night enjoy your football be safe out there and I'll catch you next time bye bye